All lab instruments need to be calibrated to ensure the accuracy of their results. In this video, we will demystify calibration and describe the process in simple steps for the FROG 4000 chemical analysis instrument. The fundamental idea behind calibrating this instrument is that analyte standards of known concentration are tested on the instrument. That information is then used to predict the concentrations of unknown samples. For this demonstration, we will use a pre-made standards kit that is available from Defiant Technologies. Because the FROG 4000 uses a gas chromatography or GC column, the instrument separates analytes during an analysis run. This allows the instrument to be calibrated for several analytes at the same time. Here we will calibrate for benzene, toluene, ethylbenzene, and xylenes, collectively known as BTEX. We will use a range of five different concentrations. To begin the calibration, set the frog in an area either inside or outside where the air is relatively clean. Next, connect the frog to your computer and start up the Elvin software. The same software that is used for testing samples has special features that make instrument calibration simple. Turn on the frog, then link to it through Elvin. In the calibration window, you can enter the names of all the analytes in your standard. The alias is the shortened name for an analyte that will appear on the frog screen when it is running independently of a computer. The settings window shows the frog's configuration for the GC heating profile and collection times. The same configuration that is used when calibrating the instrument must also be used when testing unknown samples in the field. After you have entered the analyte list, it is good practice to run a couple of clean water blanks to make sure the instrument is clean and ready to go. Use the blank sample from the standards kit or use distilled water. Load 5 milliliters of distilled water into the frog and click the start button in Elvin. The resulting chromatogram should have no significant peaks. Now you are ready to run your calibration standards. Start with the lowest concentration and continue to the highest concentration to avoid cross-contamination. Load exactly 5 milliliters of the standard into the frog then click the Start button in Elvin to begin the analysis. As the chromatogram unfolds in the Live Data window, the peaks for the analytes emerge one at a time. The time the analyte emerges from the column, called the elution time or retention time, is characteristic of the analyte and is used to identify it. At the end of a run, load the data file into the Analyze window. Click on the Open icon and choose the appropriate file. Click on Select and the file will open in the Analyze window. Each peak is associated with a different analyte in the calibration standard. If you are ever unsure of the order of elution, the analytes can be run one at a time to determine their individual retention times. Some analytes, like paraxylene and metaxylene, cannot be separated on the frog's 4.8 meter column, so they will combine to create one peak. Elvin's Integrator 2 is used to determine the area under the analyte peak, the height of the peak, and the time the peak reaches the highest point, which is the retention time. Integrate each peak that corresponds to a calibration analyte. Multiple peaks can be grouped for integration. After the peaks have been integrated, the analyte data grid displays the integration results. Enter the known concentration for the calibration standard into the data grid. Right-click on the row for peak number 1 and select benzene. From earlier tests, we know that benzene is the first peak to elute, toluene is next, and so on. Run all five standards from low to high. Integrate the peaks, enter the concentration, and assign analyte names after each run. All the calibration data for each analyte can now be viewed in the calibration window. At least five different concentrations should be used to calibrate the instrument. Elvin will produce a relationship between analyte concentration and the peak height or peak area. This relationship is called the calibration curve. 
the correlation of fit for a linear equation should be at least 0.995 for best quantitative results. A quadratic fit option is also available in Elvin. Once the calibration is completed, it is downloaded to the FROG 4000 to enable field operation independently of a computer. A premix calibration standards kit was used for this demonstration, but the user can also create their own standards. Stock solutions of analytes are available from a number of chemical supply houses. These analyte solutions can be spiked into 5 milliliters of distilled water and analyzed as previously described. By varying the concentration of the stock solution and the volume of injection, a wide range of calibration standards can be created. In the hands of a skilled operator, an entire calibration sequence can be completed in about 40 minutes. Mm -hmm.